Good morning children. Welcome to a yet new another session of English standard 6. Yesterday in video 1 we have seen half part of our lesson Yonamen and Bushi. Today we are going to continue with that. First let us revise what we have seen yesterday. We have seen that Yonamen and Bushi is a true story that took place in Japan wherein Yonamen Ch- Chiru a beautiful intelligent girl marries Bushi Kyo. after he defeats her in a wrestling match which was the condition of her marriage okay now let's move further let's read the next part of the lesson okay what day yonamin announced that she would like to visit her parents i will leave in the evening and return the next day in time to cook your dinner she said to her husband You really should not travel during the night Bushi said to her firmly There are bandits about it is just not safe for a woman to go out alone after it is dark My dear husband you forget that you married a trained wrestler Yonamin said to him with a smile Don't forget that I threw you down flat on the ground said Bushi You are not unbeatable Don't worry said Yonamin bandits are not as skilled as you are i can take care of myself bushi was not pleased she is overconfident he thought to himself she must be taught a lesson for her own that evening yonamin left to walk to her father's home as soon as she departed bushi disguised himself as a bandit wearing shabby clothes smearing dark colors over his hands and covering his face with a scarf he ran as fast as he could to hide behind a clump of trees at a fork on the road darkness fell and he saw yonamin approaching the fork from where she would take a left turn to reach her father's house when she crossed the clump of trees bushi jumped out from behind the trees and tried to attack her Yonamin was swift and sharp in her reaction to the attack. She held her attacker by the hand and kicked him with such force that the attacker fell to the ground unconscious. Yonamin dragged him and tied him to a tree with her sash. She adjusted her backpack and set off round the corner for her father's home. The next day as she was returning home in the afternoon She saw her bandit still tied to the tree as she had left him the previous night. Shall I untie you now or leave you here? she asked him. Please untie me, mumbled the bandit. I beg you to forgive me. I shan't ever do this again. Swiftly she untied him and walked away quickly. She was in a hurry. She had to reach home in time. to cook her husband's evening meal little did she realize that she had just released her husband from his captivity that evening quite a while after she had set the dinner ready bushi walked in looking tired and dull she helped him wash and set out fresh clothes for him to wear she invited him to have a hot meal as bushi sat down to dinner he brought out a white sash from his pocket and gave it to his wife this is yours if i am not mistaken he said looking into her eyes oh bushi was it you i am so sorry exclaimed yonamen you don't have to be sorry said bushi you taught me a lesson that i won't forget all my life and that is don't underestimate anybody not even a woman asked yonamen playfully especially not a woman said bushi and they burst out laughing together now children from this part of the lesson that we read what do we come to know that once yonamin decided to visit her parents at night her husband warned her against going out at night saying that it was not safe to travel at night especially for ladies yonamin told her husband not to worry and she set out to meet her parents felt that his wife was overconfident and that she should be taught a lesson 
so he disguised as a bandit and attacked yunamin okay then what happened yunamin with her swift and sharp actions hit her attacker rendered him unconscious means made him unconscious and tied him to a tree and then set off to her parents home the next day she left her parents home to reach her house and on the way she saw that the bandit was still tied so she untied him and she rushed home to prepare the meal evening meal for her husband bushi who had been just untied by his wife reached home dull and tired bushi who had been just untied by her by his wife returned home with the white sash of his wife when yunamin realized that it was her husband that she had tied up she had a hearty laugh and apologized but bushi says he had learned a lesson not to underestimate anybody especially a woman and they lived ha- happily ever after so children i hope you have understood the full lesson now like yesterday today also you are going to read the lesson find the new words difficult words write them one time in the notebook and learn and write three times in the rough notebook also copy the meanings that are shown below along with the other meanings that we that have been given to you yesterday okay and after this you are going to also copy the notes the question answers that will be given to you in the worksheet as we say or the notes sheet that will be sent to you okay thank you for watching patiently children and this is your teacher dipti kamalwar signing off let us meet in the next revision session until then goodbye